this is Dragon Feather, and I'm doing a continuation of making the Book of Shadows or the small magical journal. Um, and what you're going to need is some material for a cover. And I'm actually going to show you guys how I stitch it in because I got some questions on how to do it. You're going to need some paper, whether it be tea dyed, this is dyed by tea, um, or you're going to need white paper. I recommend using dyed paper because it, the needle goes through it easier and you can fit more pages on that way. Um, and you're going to need some thread and a needle. Yeah. So first off you have to find the thread that would match it. I would use black but I don't have a lot of it so that's not what I'm going to use. The color I used is this one. Uh, just because I had a lot of that particular color. And so, um, you're gonna take out a piece of thread, and it doesn't need to be like super long, but, because you're gonna double it up so it fits better. So, I'm smart, you need scissors too. So, after that, you're going to find a piece that you think is long enough. I'm going to say for the size of the book that I have, maybe two and a half feet would be good. Um, that's probably too much, but I always use more than I need just in case. Um, and so now you're going to thread it through the needle. And this is the hardest part if you're not used to threading needles. so. Hair. Can you see the little hair? Oh, I'm gonna have to use the other end now. So through a little hole, thread your needle. Get it? No. There's an easier way to do this. They come with things that you put the thread in, stick it through the hole and it'll thread it for you. So once you have it threaded, you're going to make it even. You're going to pull it even. Where both sides at the end match. And you're going to tie a knot as close to the end as you can, if you can even see that. Alright, and now here comes the tricky part. You're going to try and get it as close as you possibly can to the other page of the book. And you're gonna, if you have pages like mine that are this size, you're gonna wanna fold them in half and put each one inside the other one. Like this, see how this one is inside of this one? You're gonna wanna do that and you're gonna only wanna use four pages because the rest of it, the needle has a hard time going through. So then you're gonna try and get it as close as you can like that. You're going to open it. You're going to hold it there. Like that. See? You're going to find the place right next to it and then you're going to hold the pages open like that. And you're just going to hold it there. And then you're going to get your needle. This is not professional by any means. So, and then you're going to get your needle and stick it through at the very top. Like that. Like that. And then you're just going to keep going, except this time, you're going to come through the back. Now from the back, you're going to find a place and you're going to poke through, through the back. See how it came through the back? So, and then you're just going to continue until you're all the way done. See how I have like stripes down the middle? You're just going to want to keep going until that's all the way down there. Now when you're all the way down to the edge, like I am, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go as close to the end of the paper as you can and you want to make sure that the thread comes out on the back cover so you can tie it nicely. See how it's coming out the back? This got ripped a long time ago, so because it got ripped, I'm just going to do a little stitching to make sure it stays. Alright, now to tie it, all you're going to do is make a loop and pull, loop with your hands and pull the thread through. You're just going to make a loop like this 
you can see, cross it just like you would tie a string. It's kind of hard to do this when it's balanced on my knee. And then you're going to take the needle through the loop and push it through. And you're going to push the knot while it's loose, not tight, as close as you can to the book. And you're going to want to double knot it. So do that twice or three times if you want to. And sometimes I even stick the thread underneath another string like this and then tie it, just to make sure it's secure, you know? Alright, so now when you're to this part, this is where I am. You're just going to cut it off, but not too short and not too long, like so. And then if you see, the four new pages I added, you can tell because they're all curly. I need to. And I suggest doing it with pressed paper. I just blue dried, blue dried, blow dried that one. So they're all curly, but if you do it with pages like this, it's so much easier. But if you see how I have a really big white gap in the middle, all you have to do is take more pages, and since you made a big gap, you just stitch them in the gap. And problem solved. And I did that with some of them on here too. So, and don't forget to cut the string right here as well. A little and string right like this. I'll stitch through the bottom, tie it on the back, and tied on the top. Now, if you're if you're planning on getting a book that has a ton of pages in it, it's not going to happen all in one night. I promise you, it's going to take a while. It's going to take days, possibly weeks, depending on the size. So just be patient and diligent, and you shall have the journal done pretty soon. So I hope this helped, and until next time, blessed be, and bye.